when you start to get serious about Excel, you're going to want to add some additional tools to it. In particular, you'll want the analysis tool pack and you'll want solver. These are pretty straightforward to add. Go to the file menu, go all the way down to options. And then um, you'll see the giant list of Excel options with lots of tabs in the left-hand menu. This is a pretty good menu to know about in case you have to make any changes to the way that Excel works. We're gonna leave most of it alone, but what we care about today is add-ins. So click on the add-ins tab and take a look at the active application add-ins list. If, you, if your list looks like mine, you're pretty much set up already. You already have analysis tool pack and solver add-in. If those are not there, don't panic. It's easy enough to get them there. Go straight down to the bottom of the dialog box and where it says manage Excel add-ins, click on the go button. You'll see a little dialog called add-ins pop up. And if analysis tool pack and solver are not checked on your dialog, go ahead and check them and click OK. Don't worry about any of the other tools. We don't need those for our classes. We just need an analysis tool pack and solver add-in. Now, when you get that done, it's not gonna look like very much has happened, but after you close Excel and reopen it, you will see some new items in the data tab. Way over on the right, you'll see data analysis, which is the data analysis tool pack, and you'll see solver. If you wanna test these to make sure that they're working, click on data analysis. And what you should see is a whole set of advanced statistical tests that you can run. This is something that we would use in statistics and quantitative methods. Cancel that, we're not gonna do a moving average just yet. And if you uh, click on solver, it gives you the dialog box uh, for a solver, and this is something we would use in quantitative methods. So that's pretty much it. Once you've got those on your system, you're ready to go.